When you run a Man Whitney test in SPSS, the default display is quite minimal. However, it can be expanded to provide more detail. Before that though, let's work through this hypothesis test summary table. So here we can see that an independent samples Man Whitney U test was run, and the null hypothesis for this test was that the distribution of academic level is the same across categories of gender. So in other words, there are the same number of male associate lecturers and lecturers and so on, as there are female associate lecturers and lecturers. So we're in a position where we can reject this null hypothesis because the significance level for the test is less than alpha, which has been set at 0.05 by default. So double click on the summary table to open up the model viewer. Now the graph at the top here indicates that females tend to be clustered further down the scale of academic levels than males and the males have a higher mean rank, indicating that they appear more frequently in the higher ranked academic positions. Now in the table below the graph, we have the information that we need for the write-up. So most specifically, we've got the Man whitney U value, which is 185.5. We've got the standardized test statistic of negative 2.547, and the significance level, which is 0.011. So you could write up your findings like this. A Man Whitney U test indicated on average that the academic levels of the male participants significantly exceeded those of the female participants. Now additionally, you should also report an effect size and the results of your assumption tests. And information on how to do this is provided in StatHand.